Hello everyone. Welcome again to another session of Minds Group Tech. Today we are here to see how we can install a Mac OS X El Capitan operating system in VMware Fusion Virtual Machine. For this, what we need is VMware Fusion pre-installed on our computer and install OS X El Capitan app in our applications folder. I have OS X El Capitan app already downloaded in my applications folder. Let me show you my applications folder. Here you can see I have installed OS X El Capitan on my machine. Next thing is VMware Fusion. I have VMware Fusion app. In case you don't have installed OS X El Capitan, you can go to your App Store, open App Store, go to Feature tab, you will find OS X El Capitan here. You can search application like this also and you will find it here. You can click on download. Once you click on download, the OS X El Capitan application will come as install OS X El Capitan app in your applications folder. This file is about 6.2 GBs. So it will take some time depending on your network speed. If you don't have VMware Fusion, you can watch my previous video, how to get VMware Fusion and install it. Let's begin with this tutorial now. Open VMware Fusion. As you are starting VMware Fusion for the first time, it will ask you to select the installation method for your virtual machine. Keep the screen here. Open your applications folder. Go to install OS X El Capitan app and drag and drop it on the VMware Fusion screen. Once you do that, you will see another screen which will prompt you to choose the installation disk or image. As I have only one over here, it is listing that. Select it and click on continue. It will show virtual machine summary. I will go and click on customize that because I want to increase the hard drive space and memory for this virtual machine. Next it will prompt you to save this virtual machine in default virtual machines folder. I will click continue. It will take some time as it is creating a virtual hard drive and infrastructure required for this virtual machine. Be patient for that. Once it is done, as we have clicked on customization, it has shown us the setting screens for this particular virtual machine. I will go and change the processor and memory. I will give it 4 GB RAM. Click on show all. Go to hard disk. There are two hard disks. One is for installation of macOS. X in this virtual machine and another is the installation media from where the OS X will be installed. So remember you have to click on hard disk and change the size as you want. I'll make it 80 GB. Click on apply. Click OK. Show all and you can close this. Now click on this big play button in the center of the screen. It has started booting up. It is going to take 5 to 10 minutes depending on your processor and hard drive space. I will skip to the end of this process until the next screen is shown. So we are back. 
it has shown two times the progress bar on that Apple logo screen. Now it is asking us to select the language. I am continuing with English which is pre-selected. Click on this arrow. Go to Disk Utility. We need to come into Disk Utility as you remember that we have changed the default 40 GB size to 80 GB and the initial partition in this virtual hard disk is 40 GB. So we have to um, kind of increase the size of this, this partition, make it 80 GB, click on apply. Click on done, close disk utility, click on install OS X over here, click on continue. Click continue on this screen, click on agree, click agree again. Select the drive where you want to install OS X. You will not be able to select the second drive as it is the installation media. You have to select the Macintosh HD. Click install and the process is started. Now it is going to take 10 to 15 minutes and it will go and restart your virtual PC a few times. I will skip to the next screen. It has stuck up on about a second remaining. It is going to take a little bit time over here. Don't get impatient as it is going to move forward from here in a while. So here we are. It has moved from about a second to about zero second. It took me around six minutes waiting on that screen where it brought me to about zero second remaining. The VM is rebooting. Now in this screen it is going to take 20 minutes where it is actually installing Mac OS X in this virtual machine. So it has restarted the system. On the next screen it is asking to select the country for me it is India so I'm going to select India click on continue select the keyboard layout for me it is ABC click on don't transfer any information now I don't want to enable my location service on this Mac. Click on don't use. I don't want to sign in as of now. Click on skip. The license agreement. If you want to read it, read it. Click on agree. Give it a full name. account name it is auto filling from your full name select the password give the hint click on continue Select the time zone, I am 
am in Bangalore so I have precisely selected Bangalore over here uncheck send diagnostic and uses data to Apple and we are in OS X El Capitan virtual machine here you can see the configuration of this virtual machine OS X El Capitan version 10.11.3 Mac is the name of this machine these are the configuration of the processor 4 GB RAM 3 MB graphics and the serial number eighty GB of hard drive storage four GB of memory you can close this and enjoy your virtual machine that's all folks thanks for watching please click like if you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos